So I'm going to simulate the rest of the season, the off season. I mean, and whoever they sign, it doesn't matter to me, but we should win the Super Bowl this upcoming season. Now we got to look at what the Giants did draft wise and the rest of the roster, but this should be a Super Bowl roster. Like I had said, they were seven and nine without me. You add me to that seven and nine. Hopefully we could do something. So we got Eli Manning, me, Brandon Jacobs as my backup. Um, Plaxico Burris, Sonoris Moss, I think, or is that Santana? Yeah, Sonoris. Um, Jeremy Shockey. So, yeah, bro, this team, we should run through everybody, in my opinion, because they're already supposed to be at that point in the development with Eli Manning being there for so long. At this point, they should, what, I think he should be, like, in his eighth year. Then you add me. So, I mean, let's just simulate. Hopefully, no one gets hurt in the preseason. Like I said, I hope no one gets hurt. And the thing for me is I'm probably not going to even play too many games at all. Like, I'm going to simulate to the midpoint, and hopefully we're, like, 8-0, and 7-1, and something crazy. And then for me, too, I would love to have this be, like, one of my best years in my career, too, knowing that we're already just going to win the Super Bowl. If I could win, like, MVP or get, like, 2,000 yards or whatever it is, that would be a good season. I'm not going to waste too much time, though, because – even with playing games, I'm not going to play no games. For what? We're going to win the Super Bowl. I'm just playing just to play. And then even, like, when we get to the playoffs, if we're the number one seed, I might not even play till the NFC Championship and then just play the Super Bowl. All right, simulate all events for today. Here we are where our regular season opener is going to be the Rams. And I'm going to simulate. That's the first three weeks. That's the next three I'm going to simulate to the Cowboys game, and then hopefully we could be, like I said, 7-1, and 8-0. I just thought about it. I probably should have played my first game in New York, but it's okay. I simulated to the middle of the season, and we're going to look at the stats and the standings first. So we're 5-3, and three, tied for third. Well, it's a three-way tie for first. I don't know why I said tie for third. The Eagles lost three straight. And then in the NFC, we are fourth. And then stats-wise, Eli Manning's having a great season so far. And then I'm at 849 with 11 touchdowns. Not doing horrible. I'm still around six yards a carry, 106 a game. Got 11 touchdowns. Last year, I think I had like 12 at this point. Dang, my longest is 28. So they're probably using me. I don't know. They're using me. I was going to say they're using me and these other two dudes. They're really using me. All right. I mean, I'm not complaining. So we can simulate the rest of the season. Um, you know what? And then the Jets game, of course. I'll simulate two the Jets game, and we'll see. Hopefully, it's not still a three-way tie. I simulated all the way to the Jets game like I said I would. So, let's go look at what the season has become. We're 10-5, and five, second in the division. That's not really good, but that's not really bad. And, I mean, we've won five straight, so... We look like a good team right now. And then in terms of the NFC, we're fourth still. I think we were fourth earlier. And then in the NFL, total, we're sixth. We got 6,000. I mean, kind of, I was thinking the Browns were just horrible, but it's kind of the same. Eli Manning. 34 touchdowns, and then there's me. I'm at 1806 with 24 touchdowns. So, yeah, I'm having a great year. Same amount of carries, basically, with the last two years. Um, 
I just need 200 more yards, honestly. I mean, I got 24 touchdowns already. That's what makes me a pro bowler again. I just need 200 yards to hit the 2,000. And I don't know how close I am to the Hall of, or not Hall of Fame, but the MVP or anything, but I just need 2,000 yards. I'm going to simulate this game because I've never ran for more than like 150 in the game. So if I'm going to get to 2,000 yards, I'm, prob I'm probably not going to get it. And who knows? I mean, we're in week 17. I might not even get it this year, to be honest. All right, so we're going to be playing the Ravens in the first round. But I want to see how we ended, if we won that last game or not. All right, so we're 11 and 5. I mean, there's nothing to complain about at 11 and 5. Finished fourth. Obviously didn't win the division. The Eagles did, so we're going to have to go on the road. But I want to see how I finished. Eli Manning, 35 touchdowns. So he only had one touchdown that last week. Okay, so I did exactly what I needed to do. I'm the offensive player of the NFL. Running back of the year in the NFL. And I end up with... 294 attempts, so basically going back up to where I should be, 6.8 yards per carry, 125.5 a game, which is a career high, 2,008 yards, ended up with 29 touchdowns, my longest rush was 39, but that's crazy to go from 9 to 11 to 13 to 15 to 21 to 29, and, oh, I messed up. I forgot about my receiving. 37 receptions, 416 yards, 11.2 yards of reception, five touchdowns, longest of 32. So I ended up with like 2,400 yards and 34 touchdowns on my way to becoming the offensive player of the year. Career year for touchdowns. Rush yards, rush average, and I basically sweep the awards. The only thing I didn't win was the MVP, so had a big season. I was kind of skeptical. I didn't want to play that game because, like I said, I never got over 150 yards, so it's like I'm not going to sit here and play that game and risk not getting 2,000 yards. I'm skeptical about this game with the Rams, meaning like I don't want to play it. Like I've already won a playoff game before, so this wouldn't be like a first playoff win caption and game. So I'm going to just simulate it. So we get the win, and now I have an interview. Has your number one goal been to make the Super Bowl? There's not a single player who would say no to that. Are you satisfied with the coach's play calling? You're the reason we made it this far. What do you think about the ownership? I want to say they're a classy outfit, but I don't know if that means like disrespect. <laughs> Can you give us a hint where you going? Um, yeah, I'm just put that stop hounding me because I already signed. So I don't know what the hell they talking about. I'm going to simulate this game against the Bears as well because I'll play the NFC championship. This is the divisional round. I'm not really worried about them, to be honest. We simulate the game against the Bears and we win. I'm pretty sure it wasn't an easy game because the Bears were supposed to be, I think, the number one team. But I just don't feel like playing all these games. There's too many games to be just playing. Look, 49-42, something crazy. And then we're going to play the Eagles, who scored like 59 points. <laughs> I don't know, bro. They scored 59. We scored 49. Look at these scores, 56. 
So, I don't know what it's going to be. But we're going to have to play them. I mean, we're evenly matched with them, at least 87, 88. I don't even know, to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to play this game, but we've never won the NFC Championship. Like, the last time we played, we played against the Jets and we lost the AFC Championship. So that's kind of why I'm going to play. And then we're evenly matched. They're in 88, we're in 87. So let's see what happens. I don't even know why, but we have like a bad history of these games here at the end, I guess, because I'm almost 100% sure it's snowing. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, I'm saying these games at the end of the year, we're always playing it, like, in adverse conditions. This is actually the first time I'm playing with the Giants. I've been simulating everything, like I said. I'm actually, like, the NFL Offensive Player of the Year. Like, a lot of good things. This is a big year for me, and... It's not going to be often that you can win the MVP, which I wish I could have won. Imagine that. I had like 29 touchdowns. I don't know why I keep saying like. <laughs> sound like a, another like, right? I sound like a teenage girl. All these damn likes. All right, first play. That's not a bad run. That's how I got 2,000 yards. They're giving me the ball. They're letting me play. And at this point, trying to win the Super Bowl, that's the only reason I left the Browns. I mean, I've always threatened to leave the Browns, bro. Like, if I, I always said that. If I ever get a quarterback, if I could ever get a choice to get a competent quarterback, I would do that. And Eli Manning, I think he's like 35 touchdowns, four interceptions. I didn't even look at Charlie Fry because I'm one of those people, too. I don't look back at my ex I don't look back at where things went wrong, so. Oh, yeah, that's a nice throw. Let's go. We're looking good on this first drive. One thing I am going to do. Yeah, that's a good check. There was nowhere to go, but one thing I am going to do, to be honest with you, is I'm going to control the ball. I just remembered they put up like 50 on their, in their last game. Yeah, every time we come out, it's going to be down to five seconds. I, I feel no shame of that because they just put up a bunch of points. Ooh, that was a risky throw. Yeah, they just put up a bunch of points their last game. So I'm not going to be trying to give them the ball. I like this play call, though. We're on the 10. First thing goal. We're playing in Philadelphia in the snow. So I need every advantage possible. Oh, back this way. Oh my gosh, that was a nice one. It didn't look like it was going to happen. It definitely didn't look like it was going to happen. But that juke, that sidestep, yeah, deadly. That definitely didn't look like it was going to happen. Why am I on the field goal unit? The heck? Boy just won offensive player of the year. I'm blocking on the field. Whoa, and they got me in the trenches. No way. I guess anything new in the Super Bowl, we 11 and five for some for some reason. Dang, I, what the heck? Maybe they saw what I did in the Pro Bowl, and I was like, here we go, we got a spot for you. Must have been in the contract. If we're gonna give you that 11.5 or whatever it was for signing bonus, you gotta be able to play special teams. They robbed me because I ain't trying to play no damn special teams. I normally just skip this, but I know I got points. So I'm gonna try to use it on these D 
dudes that need help. Oh crap, I'm running down the clock. Not even trying to because the clock hasn't started, but we have the lead. I feel like that's the only way we're gonna win. Like you can't be giving teams the ball. Oh, right here, bro. You would have been a lucky man to throw me that ball. They never really ever checked me in the flat. That's why I'm like, bro. Again, we want to limit the amount of time that they have the ball. That's something that, well, if you're playing a high-powered offense, right? That if you're just playing scrub team, it don't really matter. You could get the ball and go five seconds like air raid. But this is the NFC Championship. <laughs> I'm not playing those games, taking those chances at all. Hopefully we can get this off. This won't be a bad play. Let me see. Yeah. Hopefully we can get this one. Oh, well, I knew it. I mean, I saw the end of the quarter. That's why I said hopefully we can get it off. And just like that, it's the second quarter. We got the lead. That's all you want. I'm in the mood for this team, honestly, to block. Just because I know it's like a chance to go to the Super Bowl, bro. This ain't that selfish idea and play. Dang, look at this dude next to Plaxico. What the heck? This ain't the same selfish Browns. And I like the play calling. Like, I haven't complained yet. <laughs> I haven't complained. I just, it's my fault. I was going to say we should get out quicker. I am trying to run the clock. Oh, we got him. We didn't get him for the big touchdown because my receivers never block. Like, if you were to block, I don't know who that was, but if you were to block and I would have got to the outside, it would have been over with. Remember, I ran a 4-3 as a combine. Oh, we got to go. But no, nah, same problem no matter where you go. You got to block, bro. I'm telling you, we out of there. Let's go. I'm going to get you nine yards of carry if you block. My player is looking like the offensive player of the year, though. I'm not going to lie. The way how he just navigated that, even that first touchdown. I feel like in my first couple years, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah, in my first couple years, I wouldn't have been navigating that way. I don't feel like. Oh, my. Do I have a route? Yeah, I got a route. You only need one yard, though. That's why. Ooh, that was a bad play call. Because we only need a one yard, and now we stop the clock for no reason. Hopefully, see, here we go again with the nonsense. Like, I'm going to call a timeout, see if we can get a run play, because this is not smart. It's third and one, and we're trying to keep the drive going. So why are we doing all these passing plays? All right, bet. I'm going to get you that one yard. That's my point. And these two fools are lining up on the outside. Trying to blitz the outside. Dumb. I'm going to get you that first down. Because you have your linebacker and your defensive end shade into the outside for I don't know what reason. Trying to go through what, the D-gap for what reason? I couldn't tell you. Oh, yeah. I just realized I actually can't chase this one down. Meaning we need to go now because we're going to the two-minute warning. Ooh, we got him. Give me five yards. All right, ref, we accept. Let's go. Let's control the ball, and let's go. Because we actually can't run the clock down to the two-minute warning. Oh, this is weird. There's a chance in between right here. Yeah, there's a chance. Oh, this is crazy, bro. Come on, man. How the heck did you fumble that, bro? What the heck? This is crazy, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm upset that I fumbled it, and I'm not surprised that they're going to go passing the ball this minute left anyways. But it continues the streak. This man fumbles every playoff game. I don't know what it is. 
How the hell you running right there, like what? And the, within the red zone, and you just drop it. They barely even touched you, bro. I'm so pissed. Because that's ruining the plan. Like, now what? Now you're not even blocking on, on, on this pass play. Man, you useless, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's the first time I ever said that about him. But it's because I know who we're playing. And look, we're gonna go throw it. So that means we're gonna give them the ball right back. But all that momentum. Because look, we're throwing it now. It's a minute left. There's no plays that they're gonna try to call run unless it's like a delay. And it's like a trip. See, look, we're trying to throw the ball. So we're gonna give them, even though it's second and five and, and common sense will be okay, let's get the five yards to keep the drop going. They trying to do Hail Marys because I don't know. That's what I don't understand too, right? Because yeah, it's a video game. Oh my gosh, this dude keep getting lucky with those passes, bro. Right over the defender. Like right over the defender, not even. It's just stressful, bro, because I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, you fumbled it and we would have been up 14. It don't even matter that they got the ball in their own 20 because they didn't really return the fumble. So they don't really matter about that. They ended up going down the field and getting three points. But, and then even that, bro, they, they was throwing bombs in the snow. Dropped every pass, but on like third and 30, they caught it. I'm like, ain't no way, bro. They dropped every pass with dudes running wide open, running slants. They get to third and 30 and they throw a bomb. I'm like, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way. That's what I'm saying, bro. You got to make up for it right here. Get a catch right here, right here. Get a good block. Do something, bro. We got to score because you just fumbled it and we could have been up 14. All right, here we go. I'm getting the carry. This man might fumble it again. I, I, I can't trust him now. Oh, flip that. I mean, it's basically the same on either side. So, I mean, whatever. Let's see if I can hit the edge, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't nothing to him. Hey, we gotta go. That's why I call timeout. We got a field goal. And I'm on the field goal unit. Yeah, bro. They was like, you want this 11.5, bro? We saw what you did in the Pro Bowl. We need you on the field goal unit. It's crazy because they put him basically at what? Tackle, kind of? This dude put Brandon Jacobs' big ass at the tackle and let me be on the edge. We gonna need that field goal. Yeah, we're going to need that field goal because my, my clown self fumbled it. It's so weird because you got to control the ball and not make mistakes because it wasn't even that they did nothing crazy. They got the ball to 20 and went right down the field. So that's what I'm saying. You got to make it make the best of every possession and try to score at least right now. It should be. 17 at least bro what we doing the clock bro over here checking your chin strap bro you about to get us a flag all right there was nowhere to go on that one but yeah bro you about to get us a flag you over here checking your chin strap bro run the damn play i'm not even tripping I personally feel like once you fumble, you shouldn't get the ball as much, so. Yo, you have Plaxico Burris deep, bro. What you what you doing? This man is six foot eight in this game. This man look like LeBron. Throw up the ball. What you doing? You you sitting here and you ruining the plan because then now look, it's third and eight and you about to get the ball right back to them. What you doing, bro? Throw the ball to Plaxico, throw the ball to me. Some, bro, you just threw it to the Eagles, man. What you doing? This is not the time for that. Because if they score, I mean, it's only a seven-point game. I don't know, man. This team is living really dangerously. If you know anything about music, they're living dangerously. Because we need to score, bro. This team that we're playing can score 59. Didn't they score 59 in the last game? Like, what we doing, bro? I think they beat Atlanta 59 to 16, so... Like I keep saying, I'm not going to lie. I like the snow and the rain because, especially if it's a high power offense. Oh my gosh, that should have been a nice juke 
to the outside. I'm saying to the right and then hit the outside. Yo, what are we doing, bro? What, what, what's this? Hurry up. <laughs> what, what are we doing, bro? What the hell was that about? Bro, we supposed to milk the clock. We sitting here throwing hurry up. All right, bro. Milk the clock time. I mean, sometimes I do it. Oh, let's go this way. If I follow the guard, I should be straight. Bro, just don't fumble the ball. Like, that's all I'm saying. That's a good run. Everything was perfect. That was nice. Yo, what are we doing with this hurry up, bro? It's about to be the end of the quarter. Why are we? Yo, what are we doing, bro? On third and two. I mean, second and two. What the hell are we doing, bro? The, the hell's wrong with these people? I understand being aggressive, but there's also a thing called being dumb. Like, the f*** are you doing, bro? Yeah, let's go to the opposite side of the blitzing linebacker, please. Bro, get the hell out the way. Let's go, bro. Let's go. That's what I'm saying. Get the hell out the way, though. Like, I felt like that blocking. Look at this. That is pretty. Ray, get the hell out the way. Fullback or whoever the hell you are, bro. It's like he just stood in the way. I was like, okay, bet. That could be a nice diversion. Let's go, bro. I got you. I'm the offensive player of the year for a reason. I got two touchdowns. Now, I'm not going to go by the logic that my little brother goes by. That fumble is still a fumble. Doesn't mean if I score twice, it don't erase it. I don't know what it is with this team, man, but you're living dangerously. Too dangerous for me, cuz. And then here we go. Like, it's a weird lack of common sense thing because then now here we go we're running some nonsensical play a sweep i ain't never seen a sweep work all the time i've been playing this game but here we go with four minutes left as long as it's not a toss right as long as it's an actual handoff oh he's timing it up too look at the safety bro this play ain't gonna work for shit oh oh <laughs> he dropped all over his back. That play could have worked if I was to hit the outside. Man, he looked like one of them weirdos that like rub their balls all on you, like when they laying on top of you too. Like, bro, that looks so weird. All right, let's see if we could just get the right. Mm. Nah, this is bad either which way I go. But I'm gonna go to where. The linebacker is like offset. Ooh, he got blown up. I tried to go where the linebacker was kind of offset and like touching and putting his hands up and doing too much, but it didn't make a difference. I mean, at least we got it down to three minutes. The only thing is I would like to score here at least a field goal because nothing is promised. Oh, you tripping. Why are you going that way? Whatever, bro. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to drag him for the first down. Let's go. I mean, it looked like it would have been a good run for me either which way because they were playing off and then they were playing to the outside. I don't know why. I mean, I really don't care why. I have 117 yards, though. And my longest rush was a 40-yard bomb. So I'm doing good. All right, we're going to hit the edge on this for sure. Oh, yeah, we're going to hit the edge. We got all the right blockers. Like I said, we're going to hit the edge. This is what you do when you're the offensive player of the year. Just put the ball in my hands and let me work. I saw that from the beginning. I was like, bro, we got all the right blockers. I have 100 and what? 89 or 69 I got 169 and three touchdowns this is how you become a legend bro I'm sitting here hoping we don't give them the ball back too quick instead of just saying hey give me the ball <laughs> instead of saying hey just give me the ball let me work over here playing super conservative but two minutes left all right so again um I'm pretty sure they just let them score <sighs> kind of stressful it's like like I knew this is how it would be that's why I, and they let them score in like 20 seconds 
This is why I'm trying to bleed the clock. This is exactly why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. Can you stop so we can see which way the freaking play is going to work? It's the metaphors, yeah, that's not going to work. I mean, he ran him over, but... I'm like, bro, can you stop looking at Plexico Barrera's pointing and whatever he doing, bro? Like, we ain't got time for that. This man over here pointing and all this bull crap. We need to not give them the ball back. That's all we need is a first down. And I already know, too, like, they're going to start calling timeouts. So we need to move the ball. No dumb stuff. Get a first down right here. Let me follow the block. I don't understand what they be thinking. Like, oh, Oh, yo, he got annihilated. This man didn't even get to hand the ball off. That's how the blocking went on that one. And, of course, they're going to call a timeout. I'm not trying to get in a situation. Why are we doing a draw, bro? That's the best play you could think of on third and 11. Well. Damn, I messed up. I probably could have got that first down. Had I ran to the left of the guard from the beginning. Damn, I messed up. Damn. Yo, this is what I'm talking right about right here. Watch this. It's third and ten. And they ain't made no plays, bro. They ain't made no plays until until third and ten. Every single time. Bro, they be three and out. Bro, this is what I'm talking about with this defense situation. Look why I'm saying we had to score, bro. Look. I normally don't show the defense, but yo, look at this nonsense. Bro, what? This man is double covered. This is so crazy to me, bro. Just watch this bull crap. Because they're going to try to score, right? And then they're going to give us the ball back. What are you doing? What? Look what I'm talking about, bro. Now they got the ball on the floor with 50 seconds left, so we're going to go to overtime, bro. That fumble is going to be so costly, bro. Oh, this is so fake. Ain't no way this man just ran that dumb play. Oh, my God, bro. The clock should have been running, bro. But this crap is so fake. They got somehow... Oh, my God. We got 34 seconds to throw a bomb, bro. And you could tell by the play call, we just playing for overtime. Because you telling me, look, they stacked the hell out the box. Like, what are we doing, bro? What the f play call is this, bro? Bro. We playing for overtime. Ain't no way. Ain't no way you telling me this to play call. All we need is a field goal, bro. We only got 30 seconds and we have all our timeouts. We could legit get the field goal. But here we are. I'm averaging nine yards a carry, by the way. But still. I would be so pissed that I had three touchdowns and we come and we lose this damn game, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my God! What's wrong with you, bro? Mm. It aggravates me that they don't even give me the time of day to look, bro. All we need is a field goal. Fucking look. Oh my god, why are you throwing it inside? And you burning our timeouts for nothing. Bro, you throwing 10 yard slants and burning our timeouts for nothing. It's the metaphors, Bro, you just burnt all three of our timeouts <laughs> on three plays of nothing, bro. Because if we were to try to kick a field goal now. Bro, we getting the first down. That was a big play. We need to kick the damn field goal right here, though. Field goal, let's go. What y'all niggas doing? Bro, come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro. What the hell y'all niggas doing? This game right here, we won. Let's go, bro. I was just about to say, our clock management is crazy. Let's go, bro. It's not clock management that we had with... Um, let's go. I'm the player of the game. We barely got that, too. I don't even know how we got that. I didn't even see what play, what happened. I don't really care. Why don't we squib this?
I really just thank you. I really was just trying to get the clock to run out. Let's go, bro. We lived way too dangerously. Living dangerously. I swear, bro. That game was unnecessary. And I knew they was going to be a tough team from the beginning. You know, I carried. You know, I carried. Where is it? 177 yards, three touchdowns. Average 9.3 yards a carry. That one dumb fumble. And then I didn't do nothing receiving. I don't even think I caught a pass. Either way, I had 177 yards. You know I carried. Them touchdowns was all me. And then the two field goals. Living dangerously. Living too dangerous for me. Like, come on, bro. I don't understand why. All right, bro. Let's go. Super Bowl bound. Let's go. And there it goes, the end to another video following TJ David on his path to the Hall of Fame. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon. Way too fast, no replay.